So we begin this morning with a brand new CBS News New York Times poll just out this morning. And if these results are any indication, the race for the Republican nomination is, frankly, as wide open as ever. CBS News correspondent Jan Crawford is in Washington this morning with more on these numbers, what they could mean, of course, not only for the Republicans, but also President Obama. Uh, Jan, good morning. First of all, mm -hmm. as you look at this, the Iowa caucus just about 10 months away. We know Donald Trump is getting a lot of the headlines, but who are potential voters really excited about? Well, Erica, good morning. That is a key question. I mean, obviously, to succeed in politics, you've got to have motivated supporters. So we asked voters to name those candidates that they were most enthusiastic about. And what we found is that a majority, 56 percent of the voters, are not fired up about anyone right now. Those numbers show voters either don't know the candidates or they're still looking for someone else. Uh, well, we also looked at, too, as we're trying to figure out where people's loyalties may lie, we looked at the favorability ratings for some of the folks who were out there who you just listed. Uh, Mike Huckabee, 54% favorability. Palin, 51%. Newt Gingrich, Mitt Romney tied at 42%. Donald Trump just 35 percent. The important thing for these people would be translating that favorability into support. How do they make that happen? Well, I mean, obviously, these numbers are very good for Mike Huck Huckabee, but remember, we don't even know if he's going to run for president yet. So as you said, they tell us that the field is wide open. And there are clues in this question, too, that people just want more information. Because just because someone's high on that list of favorability, uh, like the people that you just said, doesn't mean the voters don't like him. Now, look at these numbers that we got in this poll. Tim Pawlenty, former Minnesota governor, has signaled he is running for president, has a 20 percent favorability rating. But 78 percent of the people say that they just don't know enough about him. So again, voters are looking for more information. And some of the people that you mentioned, Erica, like Donald Trump, have high unfavorables with Republican voters. Donald Trump is viewed negatively by Republican voters. 32 percent unfavorables. That's higher than Sarah Palin, Newt Gingrich, whose unfavorables the poll shows are in the 20, 25 percent. Interesting to see those numbers, especially because we're hearing so much about Donald Trump and hearing so much from him. Is he seen as, as even being a serious candidate, Jan? Well, you know, that's the big question, because obviously he's gotten so much attention lately. And we asked that question, not just of Republicans, but, you know, all voters in general. And of Donald Trump, uh, let's see what we have here. Um, uh, 72 percent, 72 percent of all voters in general do not believe he's a serious candidate. I mean, obviously, we're just getting these numbers, Erica. And mm -hmm. among Republicans, even a Republican majority, they don't take him seriously as a candidate. We'll, we will be watching that. Also, of course, we'll be watching the, the numbers about the Tea Party. I know we asked about that. Uh, 29 percent don't have a favorable view. 43 percent say they haven't heard enough about that one either, so they may need a little more information there. Jan, always good to have you with us to help break this down. Thanks. Thanks.